but it is not very infectious it does not cause infections in healthy people but with covid-19 the number has increased dramatically definitely there is increasing trend in fungal infection being seen in the last few weeks um, in patients with covid-19 aur ye ek bahut states mein dekha ja raha hai some states have reported more than 500 cases the issue is what is all of this about what can we do to prevent it how should we suspect it and what are the treatment strategies the first thing to remember is that black fungus uh, which is uh, basically an infection by a fungus called mucormycosis is a rare uh, fungus a rare infection in humans it's a fungus which is found in soil it is found at times in uh, the environment also but it is not very infectious it does not cause infections in healthy people before covid we would occasionally see fungus with uh, this mucormycosis in patients who had poor control of diabetes who had underlying transplant and were on drugs post transplant or cancer patients who are getting chemotherapy but with covid-19 the number has increased dramatically this has been seen to some extent in the first wave also but much more now and it was also reported to some extent during the sars outbreak also so what is the reason why we are seeing more fungal infection the first is that covid-19 itself predisposes to these fungal infection because if you were to remember what we used to see was that if you look at the blood reports of patients with covid-19 the lymphocyte counts in the cbc comes down and this causes a decrease in their immunity which predisposes them to fun- infect uh, fungal infections like mucormycosis also diabetes is a risk factor and we know that india is the diabetic capital of the world we have a large number of people who have diabetes many of them have diabetes where the control is very poor so uncontrolled diabetes uh, with covid-19 can also predispose to development of mucormycosis so the use of steroids has become much more in this wave than it what it was in the last wave and steroids being given when they are not indicated in mild or early disease can also cause a secondary infection this has been documented very well in the recovery trial which showed that patients who got steroids early had higher chance of secondary infection and it was associated with higher morbidity also the dose of steroids some people are given very high dose steroid which is not indicated and which can also predispose to high blood sugars and also higher chance of getting mucoral uh, infection and thirdly the duration of steroids if steroids are given for a very long time it also predisposes to secondary infection like mucormycosis certain other drugs which also decrease immunity like tocilizumab should also be given carefully because they also can predispose to fungal infection especially mucormycosis so my advice would be that we have to look at prevention of this uh, outbreak which we are seeing with covid and the, the three factors that are very important are first of all very good sugar control we must have people who are non diabetics must take extra steps to make sure their blood sugars are controlled those who are not having diabetes but are put on steroid must monitor their blood sugar regularly because many turn out to have high blood sugars and many turn out to be diabetics although they were not aware of it along with this we should be careful about when we give steroids uh, the indications are very clearly mentioned in the guideline they should not be misused 